Okay, moving on to race 27, and we're over at Newbury now for the Doug Warren Hurdle. It's a three miler. It's five year olds and up. So number one is Brewer Rabbit. Two is Consequence of Stars. Three Ghost Rider. Four Ghostly Shore. Five Montoya. Six The Aristocat Crat. Seven Thunder. Eight Villa de la Plata. Nine Cat Town. Ten Heart Has a Wish. Eleven Mare Days. Twelve is Sea Devil. The Cone is thirteen. And Warren running in. The Doug Warren Maiden is number fourteen. And do the orders and they're off. Conditions are a little bit miserable here at uh, Newbury. The crown's kind of good to soft. It may get softer as the day wears on with this rain. So, let's see who's going to lead us along. It's Thunder in the pink silks against the fence. Just being joined now by Cat Tail. These two are going to take this left turn here at Newbury. That's three miles. And Thunder's decided to just move on by a couple of lengths. Wants to lead on his own. Cattails let him off and let him go. And there are a couple of lengths back from the chasing pack, which is just being headed by Villa de la Plata and Ghostly Shore at the moment. And the green and uh, yellow silks of the aristocrat. So the 3 2. As we approach this one, it's Thunder that still leads us. And Cattail in second. And we've got the aristocrat, Montoya, from Mr. Follis's yard. Villa de la Plata and Ghostly Shore. They're followed through by Heart Has a Wish, The Cone, Consequence of Stars, Ghost Rider, Mayor Days, Sea, De sea Devil, Brer Rabbit, and Warren just at the rear. So they go over the second flight. Everybody skips over that one. Well, it didn't jump it particularly well. It was Ghostly Shore from Jim Murray. But we've still got Thunder leading by a couple of lengths. And well over two miles still travel. So it's Thunder that leads us. Don't know any interesting facts about Newbury. So uh, I can't fill in with any interesting facts, other than it's Newbury. But it's Thunder that still leads them into the fourth. They'll skip over that. They're starting to get strung out a little bit here. We're probably at least uh, 20 lengths from first to last. But Thunder still leads us by a couple of lengths to Cat Tail. He's also on his own, and he's four to five lengths ahead of the chasing pack of Montoya and the Aristocrat. And there's Ghost Rider, the grey. And outside of Ghost Rider, his heart has a wish. The wider still is Consequence of Stars. One against the fence is Mare Days in the Red Silks and the White Sash. And we've got Ghostly Short, Brer Rabbit, Sea Devil, Warren and the Cone towards the rear. So it's still Thunder. Still leads us by a couple of lengths to Cat Tail. And there's still three to four lengths ahead of the remainder. One just at the rear now is the Cone. Just drop down here at Newbury. A little one in six. And it's Thunder that still leads us from Cat Town. And pretty much as we were, the rest of the pack. I hope you've all had a fairly good uh, couple of days. I'll see pretty much halfway through day three now. You'll all be thinking of your nominations for next week. There's a few handicaps about, so uh, get out of these group one maidens. So it's still Thunder that leads. We get over the six. Everybody skips over it. Cattail being uh, joined now by Ghost Rider. And there's only a length back to uh, Villa de la Plata. The Aristocat. And the one on the inside. Oh, sorry, it's Villa de la Plata. Sorry. It's been joined. And there are a couple of lengths ahead. The Consequence of Stars. Heart Has a Wish. Montoya. Mare Days. Still on the inside. Ghostly Shore in the black and red. They take the seventh. Oh, there's a poor jump there by Warren in the black silks. He's uh, got himself demoted in a share of last with the cone. But up front, the lead's cut down now just to half a length. Thunder and Cat Tail. And we've got Villa de la Plata. The risk again. We're losing one there. Ghostly Shore's going. Didn't go over that last hurdle too well. Jockey's had enough and pulled him up. But it's still Thunder that leads us from a length to Cat Tail. One making up some ground is Consequence of Stars. The Aristocat still there. And Villa de la Plata having a dream ride. Hearts has a wish. Ghost Rider, Mare Days. And then we've got the Co made up a little bit of ground. Bray Rabbit, Sea Devil, Montoya and Warren. They've all been pretty much towards the rear. Now Heart as a wish has kicked on here. And decided to challenge Thunder for the lead. And has taken it up by a couple of lengths. We've only just got over six furlongs left to run. And another three hurdles to take. 
Maybe he's timed it well here. The other one coming out is Aristocrat. Thunder starting to lose a little bit of ground to the rest now, and the cone has moved right up into third place now. And they were chasing pack under a little bit of pressure of Vida La La Plata, Brer Rabbit, and Cat Tow. And consequence of stars, Mayor Day still travelling well. Ghost Rider the Grey starting to make a move. Warren trying to get up on the inside. Montoya just starting to get a little bit detached to the back. But out at the front is Villa de la Plata that's headed for home as they approach the ninth. So they're over nine. They've got three left to jump. Three and a half furlongs left to run. And it's Villa de la Plata for Paul Rhodes that started to pull away here. He leads by three to four. Brer Rabbit taking chase. Hart has a wish. Doesn't look like he's got anything left. The Grey Ghost Rider still plugging on. But it's Villa de la Plata. And we've lost one there. Ghostly Shores. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> Villa de la Plata is still leads. Oh, and we're losing one there. Cat Tower's being pulled up. Quite late to be pulled up. Two furlongs out, but it's still Villa de la Plata that leads. By one and uh, by six, seven lengths. Got one left to jump. Just got to skip over this. Less than a furlong and a half left to run. I can't see anything else catching it, although the cone took it a little bit slow for Villa de la Plata there. But Villa de la Plata still leads by four to five from the cone chasing on hard consequence of stars. Heart has a wish and ghost rider, but nothing's really got into this. Villa de la Plata have won this quite comfortably. A good win there for Paul Rhodes. Won that by at least three to four lengths. Although the cone and consequence of stars are plugging on probably need a little bit further than three miles. So a good win there for uh, Paul Rhodes. Well done, Villa de la Plata. Second was the cone for David Robertson. Third was consequence of stars, Joshua Sutherland. Fourth was Hart as a wish, Willet Surfer. Fifth was Ghost Rider from Leon Van Rensburg. So it's the usual suspects. Well done.